Heading to Battlefield, right. starting it off. Game one. Let's go. So, Aiden, what are we going to see differently for these two Foxes as opposed to the last two Foxes we've seen? Just because, you know, every Fox Ditto is different. Oh, but before we talk about that, can we talk about that massive starting combo from R2-D Lou? Oh, oh, no. Oof. There was just a cacophony of weird things that happened right there. Yeah, not really but sure what went on. Yeah. But uh, Fat Goku down one stock already. But anyways, as you know, all Fox Dittos are different. Everybody has their own play style with this yeah. character. So what are we going to be seeing different for uh, R2-D Lu and Fat Goku as opposed to uh, Cyrox and Crush? Honestly, so if I had to put them all on like some sort of spectrum of like, you know, like crazy, like crazy aggressive, not exactly reckless, I would say, but like aggressive to like more slow paced and stage control based. He waited for it. He waited for it. <laughs> um, I would like obviously neither of these these two kind of fall between where I see Cyrox and Crush, mm -hmm. and they're uh, they play a lot like each other in my opinion. Just like watching them play. I think uh, was it a. Uh Crush said that sometimes Fat Goku's playstyle reminds him of Bobby Frizz. Interesting. Which uh, Bobby Frizz, talented player, shout outs to him, beat Fat Goku at EVO last year, actually. Yeah. And uh, apparently, I don't know what else, who else he might have been. Apparently he did really well against Mango at UGC, I recall. Ooh. Nice uh, Tomahawk Shine, teasing him a bit. Oh, wow, that was not the greatest DI in the world, but... Wow, Battlefield. Oh, he heard the gun sound come out, but got canceled by the platform. Oh, he waited, but then still got beat. <laughs> Grabs him right out of his shine. Way to clean it up. Back Goku taking the lead now. As we've seen the entire day, though, uh... I don't even know if I want to call it a lead. Are, are, you, are you trying to imply that one No, 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 no! I didn't say those words! <laughs> I didn't say it. I just simply said. Oh, great short. He could have been caught out so easily by a forward tilt or something, but able to get himself to the ledge. Finds him, but not enough. Too low of a percent. That was a great back air. Mm -hmm. That was awesome because although he did take some percent, he avoided trades pretty well on that stock. And while he is at a percent deficit, uh, you know, that's two combos. Unless he gets neared off the stage, we'll see how Fat Goku gets us. Actually decides to retreat back to the center of the stage. And I think that's why. I think he was waiting for R2-D to rush in, find this grab. Oh, he got a little too nervous there. Oof. Oh, no. r 2 leaders. Okay, not quite. There was hope for a bit. So now game one, down. Steven, Fat Goku taking the lead. Oregon over Philadelphia. Philadelphia slash Delaware? He He's from, like, from Philly goes yeah. to school in Delaware. No, the other way other around. Other way around. Yeah. From Delaware goes to school in Philly. Yeah. And also is a TO there. Yes. I think a lot of people don't know that about him. He's a really good TO. Funnily as well. enough, there's a small there was like a local today mm -hmm. in that area that's being streamed on his channel right now. So. Really? Well he's out here trying to make it into top eight at this tournament. There we go. But with Punishing stocks like him that. that miss tech. There's been a lot of miss tech off smashes. Oh. Combos? Fat Goku, relentless. Jeez. What is happening, dude? Man, I can't tell you how many times in this set he's read the tech on that platform just right. Wow. Doesn't even want to mess around. Just forward smashes him out of there. Get out of my face. Steven Fat Goku Calipi is looking ready to play in top eight. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Catch him out with two up tilts in a row. No uh, edge can't on finish that. his food. This is a. Uh, do you? How much do you think like them? So they basically played like or, most of the evening. Oh yesterday. no, you're right. They played for hours. Yeah, like, like how much does that come into play? I think a lot. I actually think a lot because you think about it beforehand. How much do you think uh, David and Steven knew about playing each other? Honestly, uh, I thought I saw David win way more last night. So it's I like, actually wasn't watching too many of their friendlies. I was. Yeah, yeah you're, you were prepping. 
David well, David was definitely winning most of the time, and now uh, we're seeing the opposite here, where Steven is like really taking a commanding commanding presence. Grabs him out. Oh, good nair. Actually, the lighter hit of the nair, or was that a light hitter or a crouch cancel? Um, Whatever it was, it set him up for a really great combo because it didn't oh. send him too far out. Clean. Big edge guards. Yep. Even stocks. Evens up the stock count. He, uh... Oh, again! Runs him down, up smashes. When did everybody get so good at that, dude? <laughs> when did everybody punish Miss Tech with up smash? Apparently I've been living under a rock. Ooh, tries to rush him down with that Nair, but he gets shined out of it. Ooh. Shine Fat Goku. 2-0. Fat Goku takes it over r 2 d <sighs> Is Ooh. one of the two people to make it into top eight from in-game TV. Cyrox and Fat Goku. Interesting. If they keep winning, they'll play each other again. But there are quite a few adversaries in their way, I would say. Mm. Um, we got a pretty talented top eight coming up, I believe. We yeah. got like Swedish Delight. We got Blade Wise. Mike Hayes. Mike Hayes. Hugs. Hugs. Cyrox. Fat Goku. Who else? Two more? 